You can teach a person Christian values. You can teach him the Bible. But that does not make him a child of God. That just makes him an educated sinner. At heart he is still a sinner. And that is why most believers are not children of God. They are still sinners and sons of the devil. You need a change of heart to change your behavior. People know what is right, but they don't do it. Believers quote scriptures, but they do not do what is written. They do not obey Jesus Christ. And they profess to be sinners. They say we are all sinners. They are all sinners and they are all sons of the devil. They are all on their way to hell. If we do not obey Jesus from the heart, we are children of wrath, children of disobedience, and we go back to what we are, sinners. We need a change of heart. You only have a change of heart when you truly meet Jesus Christ. And then you don't need to be educated. Because immediately you are converted, you are transformed into a child of God, you are born again. And immediately you know the will of God and you have a desire to be pleasing to Jesus Christ. Immediately you are new inside. You want to be clean and pure and holy and you want to preserve yourself for your Lord and Master. Most believers are just educated sinners who are deceiving themselves. You can read the Bible as much as you like. You can study it. You can learn it by heart. But if you do not obey Jesus Christ from the heart, you are a sinner. You are doomed. You cannot change a pig into a sheep. If a pig sees mud, he goes into the mud and he wallows in the mud. If a sheep falls into mud, he tries to get out as fast as he can because he does not like mud. Sinners love sin. Most believers are pigs in the heart. Hogs. They love mud. They love sin. That is why they are sinners. They've never met Jesus Christ. They've never been born again. They do not have a desire from the heart to be pleasing to Jesus. Are you an educated sinner? Or have you met the King of Kings and Lord of Lords? And have you been transformed into a child of God? Do you love Jesus and serve Him from the heart? May Jesus bless you.